Novak Djokovic versus Karin Hashinov is the first quarter final for the men's French Open for 2023. And both guys have had different roads to get to this stage. Hashinov started the tournament off as the number 11 seed and would take on the Frenchman Lestian in the first round. And after dropping the first two sets, he'd have to fight back to win 3 6 1 6 6 2 6 1 6 3. In the second round, he'd take on the qualifier Elbot. And this was a much easier match, getting through in straights 6 3 6 4 6 2. In the third round, he'd take on the wildcard Kokonakis, who had just taken out Stan Vavrinka in five long sets. And after playing, Playing a fourth set tie break, Hashinov would eventually get through 6 4 6 1 3 6 7 6. In the fourth round, he'd take on Sinego, who just taken Rublev out in five sets. And again, a very close four setter, with Hashinov prevailing 1 6 6 4 7 6 6 1 to advance to another French Open quarterfinal. Djokovic entered the tournament as the number three seed and would take on Kovacevic in the first round. This is no problem for Nole, winning in straights 6 3 6 2 7 6. In the second round, he'd take on Fucevic, and after a long first set, Djokovic would win in straights 7 6 6 love 6. Three. In the third round, he'd take on Fakina, the 29th seed. And this was, so far, Djokovic's toughest match, getting through a long straight sets win, 7-6, 7-6, 6-2. In the fourth round, he'd take on Varias, who would play three five-setters, including beating her catch, the 13th seed along the way. This was Djokovic's easiest win, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-2, 6-2, -6 to advance to the quarterfinals. These guys have played nine times before, with Djokovic leading the head-to-head 8-1, -head with Hashinov's only victory coming on a fast indoor hard court. And they have played twice on Clay with their last match actually going the distance in three sets in Belgrade. If Hashinov's going to win this one, he needs to get off to a really good start. Djokovic has been a little bit slow out of the blocks in some of the matches, except for his last match, so there is a chance there that Hashinov might be able to get that first set and really put his foot down. If Djokovic is going to win this one, he just needs to play his game the way he's been playing. He has been playing pretty okay. I mean, he hasn't had to lift his level too much, but we know the second half of these Grand Slams, that's when Djokovic brings his best. We saw that a little bit in the fourth round where he kind of put the foot down, but he needs to get off to a good start in this one with Hashinov because they don't want to give Hashinov any confidence. This is going to be a very interesting matchup, and I think we expected maybe Rublev to be in this section against Djokovic, but Hashinov on the clay courts can be dangerous. I'm going to go Djokovic in four sets in this one. I think Hashinov is going to be a little bit fiery early, maybe get one of the first two sets, but I think Djokovic gets it through in the fourth and gets through into the finals. Let me know down in the comments below who's going to make the semifinal.